And thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. We are continuing our theme on evangelism and sharing our faith. You know, all week we've been focusing on the Apostle Paul, which is awesome because he is such a great uh, missionary church planter, and you really see his heart uh, for the lost and really dying to himself and his needs and his wants and his desires and his agenda to make sure that his agenda is known. And um, and it's absolutely amazing to learn and grow through the Apostle Paul. But we can't forget, obviously, the best example, and that is Jesus, right? The life and ministry of Jesus going through the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, is absolutely amazing to see his, like Jesus, what he did and why he did what he did. And listen to what he says in Matthew chapter 9, the very end of the chapter, because we've been talking about sharing our faith. We've been talking about, you know, that word evangelism. And listen, because the need is abundant. I'm sure that you have people in your life, coworkers and neighbors and family members who, who don't know God personally, don't have that relationship, don't understand the forgiveness of their sins, the freedom that they can have. Listen to what he says in verse 35 through 38. Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of that area, teaching the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And I want you to take a moment and think about some people in your life. Again, maybe it's those coworkers or family members or neighbors. Maybe they too are helpless. Maybe they too are wandering around like sheep without a shepherd, without clear direction, without having that peace that passes all understanding. And when you notice them, when you discover that, how do you respond to that? We see here that, that Matthew says that Jesus had compassion on them. And how can we have compassion on people? How can we increase our empathy? My personal view of this, and now you might be more compassionate and empathetic than I am. I, I don't know. You know, that's a spiritual gift, actually. Um, but I know for me personally, the more I spend time with the Father, the more I communion, the more I spend time in his word, the more I soak in his presence, the more I become like him. The more of an internal perspective that I have, the more I have selfless eyes, self, yeah, self, I have more, I have selfless eyes and consider others more than myself. And so I want to encourage you today that Whatever you're watching this, if you have more time in the day, maybe you're watching this at night and you don't, maybe apply this tomorrow. Or maybe you're watching this in the morning and you have the rest of the day. Would you choose to soak in his presence? Would you choose to reflect on his goodness, his love for you, his grace, the forgiveness of your sins? Because as you reflect on that, as you recognize that naturally, you will have more compassion on others. And then it says this, listen to what Jesus says. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into the fields. And that is my prayer because I want every single person to be used by him. That's why we've dedicated this week. That's why we are still in Jamaica today, because we want to further the gospel of Jesus Christ. We want to spread the good news because the harvest is ready. People are ready to hear the good news, but the workers are few. Would you choose to be God's worker today? Would you choose to be used by him today and allow him to be really your mouthpiece? Would you, would you do that? And it's absolutely amazing when you choose to make yourself available how God provides opportunities to be used. It's, I think that the opportunities are always there. It's just that we're more hyper aware of them because now we're looking for those opportunities to be used by him rather than looking for opportunities to be used by ourselves or to gain something for ourselves. No, see, that's not what God's called us to do. Would we increase our compassion and empathy on the lost and the broken because there are people who are lost and broken all around us 
the harvest is ready. Would you choose to be his worker today? Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.